I've heard rumors of the legendary Z Drive. Let's see if there's any games in the Z Drive for me. Steam library folders. Add library folder. Wait. So there is a Z Drive? And there's a Steam library? <gasps> Buster Bubble, there isn't a legendary Z drive, but there is a server. So I just built this PC today live on stream here on this YouTube channel. And one of the things that I immediately do is boot up games and test benchmarks just to make sure that the system is running well. And today I actually used my server, which is my true NAS server, where I store all of my Steam library that I can connect any of my computers to at any time and not have to have anything downloaded Local. So if you take a look in Steam on the left, you can see that I have games like Apex, Destiny, CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege, Warframe, Phasmophobia, Paladins. These are games that I actually have installed to be able to run at any time and I can boot from anywhere. I want to show you this, maybe not go into a full tutorial on how to do it. If you want one of those, let me know in the comments. But I just want to show you how I do this so that I don't have to download anything again onto my local PC. So I'm over in my true NAS server dashboard and just as a disclaimer, yes, you're going to see IP addresses all over the place, but none of these are actual my outgoing IP except my local subnet. So there's not a security issue here. So what we have is that this server is running on a 10 year old PC. It's in an i3-2120 that I've got 16 gigabytes of DDR3 in and there's no graphics card and it's running flawlessly. Right now I have about five terabytes of storage pulled up in here and it's actually doing a wonderful job at not only housing all of my Steam library, but also housing all of my projects. I can go ahead and open a folder and on this computer, click over to network or PC, click onto my NAS and you'll see that I have programs, my projects, anything for rendering, my Steam library and my Epic Games library here that I can access on any computer. And why was this really beneficial? See, when I booted this PC today, it only has 512 gigabytes on board with its SSD. And I didn't want to have to install games and all of that to, to the directory and take up all of that time that you guys know every time you wipe your hard drive or you get a new PC, you have to spend all that time getting all of your games back down. This server solution probably isn't the best solution for everyone, but for me in my situation where I build PCs and I have multiple workstations on my desktop at one time, this is amazing because not only can my main PC over there be able to play whenever I want to, either on stream or just for leisure, but when I'm doing these builds, I can have benchmark runs ready to go, save them to that drive and edit them on a different PC with all of that footage. So if you want to know more about how to do this, drop down in the comments and say if you want a, a tutorial on how I set this server up, how I got Steam to work well with the server, and yeah, and that'll bring us to the end of the video. I'm Cyrus, welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you next time.